Hello there Capricorn, welcome! This is your bonus love reading for September 2022. Let's see what's going on for you. Okay, we have Ace of Coins. Hey! Okay, so there's a new business proposition or a new offer coming in. Or you, Yeah, this looks good. Money's coming in. I like it. And there might be someone coming in with an offer of love too. Not sure if you'll take it though, but they might be coming in with something here. Yeah, if it, take a good look at it because it might be worth something here for you. The Ace of Coins. It might be more than you expect. You know, Maybe you're thinking, hey, it doesn't look that promising. But hey, when you first meet someone, you don't know where it's going to go or what that person really likes. So um, this is almost like saying to me, think about it. Don't just say no right away. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. See, divine timing, destiny. Or something good's coming in here for you. And in the past we had... Oh, did you just get your independence or just became single? Did you break up with someone and now you're single? Or did you lose a job or left a job? I don't know why I said lose. Someone could have lost a job. Did you lose a job, left a job, started something new? This is independence. New independence. Okay. So now we have... Okay, yeah, there's an offer coming in here for you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it could be someone younger than you. This is coming in shortly. So if you lost a job or left a job, there could be a new job offer coming in in the very, very near future. Or, see, they have the little steering wheel here. Or if someone's coming your way, it almost feels like they're getting pulled in your direction or steered in your direction or something like that. It's like, um, yeah, it feels like they're getting pulled towards you. It almost feels like a magnet to me. Okay, so this person's coming toward you and it could be a love offer. Okay, now you're going to, after that, you can feel stuck in your head, feel trapped, or someone else is. And this is not for real. I mean, this is, when we mentally feel trapped like that, there is a way out. It seems like we're making a mountain out of a molehill, and we all do it. So I'm not just throwing it at some person here. I'm just saying this is not as bad as you think. And that's better than having, as I say, oh yeah, you have reason to worry. No, you don't. Okay, now we have the two of coins. Options, choices, balancing things out. So this could be, you know, someone trying to make a decision here. This could be someone trying to make a decision about you, or you could try to be, make a decision about someone else here. Because this is um, outside of you. Okay. And you are the high priestess. Love it. This is Virgo, Cancer energy, but your intuition is very strong at this time. And so it's also saying that whatever you're thinking about, you can manifest. There also could be something that you're hiding or you could be seeing through something that someone else is hiding. You could be keeping a secret that is, you know, meant for you to keep, or you could be seeing through someone else's secret because these are secrets. These things are hidden. Okay. Then we have, whew, now we got the nine of swords. See, someone's mentally conflicted. Why do I feel? I don't feel like it is your energy. I feel like someone might be coming towards you and saying that they are feel trapped and they really aren't and they probably want your help maybe you are very intuitive and they're coming to you to tap into seeing what's going on with them maybe they want a reading or something because it feels like someone's i don't really feel like it's your energy you're doing well here and then these two cards are coming in so this is what's coming in towards you i think someone's coming in saying i feel stuck a mental conflicted i don't know what to do i have anxiety i can't sleep at night okay that's coming out for you Okay, so we have the Three of Coins, Partnership, Moving Away from Bad Things to Something Better, and the Queen of Wands, and we have the Strength card. So, you might be joining a corporation or a company, partner up here, it might be something working together. It could be a partnership with someone as far as love, too. I mean, this is a love reading, but I can't control which direction it goes in. Sometimes, I, you know, I'm putting out there that I want to do a love reading, but if you need to take care of your um finances or your career first in order to have this connection come in then that's what's going to come out first and that's why i feel in this reading that someone needs to get their finances in order to get their career in order or their business or something of that sort working together with someone partnering up with someone moving away from something that no longer serves you to something better it's also be travel could be going on vacation and here we have the queen of wands so we have a Queen of Wands coming in for you, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this could be your energy. Someone finding you very attractive. You know, there's chemistry, 
and we have here leaf okay there's two leaves so there's something that someone wants to grow with you they see that there's a potential for growth with you there's two two people together okay now we have the strength card here Leo energy you have the strength to do whatever you need to do here so just be ready for this because there's some good things coming in for you so let's see we started out with the ace of coins so i think we are more or less getting your finances in order and then love's coming in so let's see what we have here Ooh, the king of wands oh king of wands knight of wands sorry about that so there is someone coming here with an offer so this is um aries leo sagittarius they're coming in very quick and we have here ooh. We have here a book. There's an open book. They're coming in there telling you the story. They're going to be honest with you. They have, there's an open book. They're going to tell you anything you need to know. If you ask them questions, they'll tell you whatever you want to know. Okay, now what about the Four of Cups here? Why do we have the Four of Cups? Ooh, see, this could be a wish come true. You might be saying, don't, when this person comes in, this is one you might think, ah, I don't know. And they might be like Don Juan, Don Juan. But maybe it's because they haven't found their match, their mate here. And then they might change when they meet you because this is your wish fulfilled here. Your dream's coming true. Okay, what about this? And we do have the lucky card here, you know, the Wheel of Fortune. What's, what's the scoop on this Wheel of Fortune? Okay, you've been working at this. So this is coming, whatever you've been working at, it's going to pay off for you. Divine timing, destiny. What about the nine of coins in the past? What's that all about? Woo! You celebrating here. So if there's something here, your independence, you probably you could have started a new business, started a new job. It gave you the independence that you're looking for. Or you could have even split from someone. This could be someone celebrating an ending of a relationship, but you're celebrating here. Okay, what about the page of coins? Why do we have the page of coins here? Okay, so this is, um, someone has a lot of emotions that they might be hiding, but they're coming towards you, though. Um, the moon would be Pisces energy. Yeah, they're hiding their emotions. They're coming to you, and they're not expressing everything. They're trying to keep control over their emotions. And what about this um, eight of swords? Why do we have the eight of swords, please? Oops. Whoa, okay. So this is fast energy coming towards you and with this um feeling stuck but they're it's real like they're stuck in their head but they're coming towards you real quick um cancer energy fast energy it also oh for someone here they're worried about their vehicle something went wrong with the vehicle they're worried about the vehicle oh, look at all these cards that came out okay so with this two of coins we have the lovers Woof, and we have the six of wands and the ten a cups you're going to make a choice here and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness there's another choice card with the lovers and victory and ten of cups so this is a nice connection coming for you it's going to balance you out here i like it and what about the high priestess why is the high priestess here Ooh. okay this is like um your intuition it's almost like you're marrying something with your intuition you're you're bringing something together maybe um there's a commitment maybe are you starting a new business using your intuition or committed to something here um there's also you know could say a marriage or there's some kind of long-term commitment coming in and you surmise it with your intuition you knew it you just felt it even if you didn't know the person yet you felt it coming what about the um nine of swords Ooh, now we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's coming in here with an offer. So we have stuff going on here. And we have here, ooh, a dragon. This is protection. This is fire. This is um immense possibilities with the dragon. It's um success, wisdom, loyalty, fearlessness, strength. We do have the strength card here. So this is, you know, this is like... You're, you're, this is all going to go away whatever this energy is if it's someone else's or yours you're either going to help this person with this when they come in they're coming in quick they're you're not going to expect this but i think you're going to be able to help them this could be like you're offering them advice here to help or there's someone's coming in with an offer towards you 
Okay, now, why do we have the three of coins here? Why is the three of coins here for Capricorn? Ooh, yes, you're starting a new beginning here. Taking a leap of faith. This could be a partnership with someone, or it's just, it looks really good. You're, you're going in a great direction now. You're doing something new. Okay, what about the Six of Swords? Why do we have the Six of Swords here? Ooh, the King of Cups. Okay, so either this King of Cups is coming towards you or you're going towards this King of Cups. And this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Someone that has a lot of love for you. And you're going to be going, meeting this person. Oh, you might have been hanging out there for a long time, waiting. Or maybe they've been waiting for the hanger. Someone's been waiting to, to move, to do this. Maybe it is a, actually a move. Maybe you're moving locations where you live. Or someone's moving to come towards you. But they had to wait. It was a long waiting period with the hanger. What about the um, wands here? The queen of wands. Ooh, the star. Okay, your wishes, your hopes, and dreams come true. It's coming in. This looks good. And someone, again, don't turn down the offer. Think about it. You know, don't say no right away because you could be having all this happiness if you don't just dismiss something because it looks like there's a lot coming your way. But someone's stuck in their head and it's unnecessary. The, all these cards are absolutely gorgeous except for this eight. And I don't even know if that's your energy. So if someone else is bringing it towards you, you don't want it to corrupt your good energy, your good you know, luck here. So keep that in mind too. Help them out, but don't get dragged into it. Because you got some great cards here. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Star. Your wishes and hopes and dreams are coming true. Just stay the course. And, you know, don't don't pass up an opportunity. It might be really good for you. Okay, so now let's do the words. So our first one is this Page of Pentacles. Page of Coins. What's the scoop on that? We have Money. New Start alone see you're starting a business or you're doing something alone and here with this is the opportunity that's coming in towards you i feel that here in the past it's like you just recently did this or something you celebrated going out on your own and also here you have like working with people but you're also doing this alone with the fool card okay starting something on your own okay let's do the king of cups we have here unknown desire memories okay so this person has desires for you and they may have memories so it might be someone you already know it could have been a friend or it could have been someone that you were with together they're waiting for the right timing here but they they have a lot of memories and you don't know about this but they have a lot of desires too what about this um queen of wands freedom spying expect realize okay so expect wait you realize that someone's spying but expect freedom you're going to find out that someone's been watching you they find you very attractive so i think that's what it is that they find you very attractive they're watching you and they want to come in here you are the wish their dreams come true okay now the next one is oh, oh knight of wands see the knight of wands here is important instigate present so someone is important that someone instigates so i i feel like someone's instigating a communi uh, communication yeah communication with you they're trying to talk to you but you're not sure about it and it's important that at the present time when this person comes towards you talk to them you know don't dismiss them right away you might be passing up a good opportunity Okay, now what about this Knight of Pentacles? We have finances, soulmate, the ex. Okay, so there might be something to do with your ex who was who is a soulmate. Something about finances. They might be coming in here and giving you some money, may, a money they owed you. Maybe it's something that you were worried about. And maybe this is the whole thing. This person is coming back. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it could be anyone here. But they might be coming back to help you. And because maybe you, if you are worried about finances, they're coming in to help you out here. Okay. So now let's see what signs we have. What are the signs of Capricorn, please? What are the signs? We have Scorpio. 
Sagittarius, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, and Cancer. Wow, strong Cancer, huh? All right. So we do have Cancer with the Chariot here. And also Virgo and Cancer with the High Priestess. Yes, strong Cancer here. All right, guys. So this please placement in your charts, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, and Cancer. All right. Now let's do the letters. We'll do 11 letters. And this is for initials for first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, and you know someone's middle name, get that initial too, all the better. Past, present, and future. Okay, and also your own. B, S, M, D, I, Z, T, G, G, P, O. So our letters are B, S, M, D, I, Z, T, G, G, P, O. Okay, now for names. Let's get 11 or more names. What are the names, please, for Capricorn? What are the names? Well, now they're going to be mowing next door. I hope that noise isn't bothering you, but I, they just started, and we're almost finished with this reading. So let's see what we have here. We have er, Irina, E-R-I-N-A, I hope I pronounced that right, Sharif, S-H-A-R-I-F, Kathleen with a K, Louis, Louis, I'm sorry, Louis, L-O-U-I-S, -L Claudia, Connie, Lauren, uh, Nicole, Lucia, L-U-S-I-A, and Somya, S-O-M-Y-A. Sharice, S-H-R-E-E-C-E, -E -E, and Bert. Okay, so we have 12. Okay, there's the names. All right, guys. So remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.